So yesterday we didn't get around to talking about it due to some stuff we had going up on the channel, that Hated Madness Blueprint Easter Egg Guide, but COD 2023 had a bit more information reported that no one probably saw coming. And when I say that, I mean, well, everybody saw it coming. Today we're breaking down the new information, new reports, and what you need to know about the upcoming Modern Warfare 3 later this fall, as reported as of recently with new information. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Do you like the sound of a Modern Warfare 3? Do you like the potential that perhaps this could, and hard emphasis on could, be a course correction for what some had hoped Modern Warfare 2 this year would be? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay the day with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, as well as DMZ content with a new season the reloaded update along with other fps content as well we got a lot of stuff still upcoming that i think you guys will enjoy and i'd love to have in the community as well check out my friends over at g fuel for 30 percent off certain items in the month of may 20 percent off everything else but for the time being we'll talk about them later for now let's talk about modern warfare 3. so this new report came from insider gaming tom henderson's company in which he published an article call of duty 2023 named modern warfare 3. so again something that nobody and i mean everybody saw coming i mean that makes sense. It was past reported that it would not be called Modern Warfare 3, but instead could have been something like how Black Ops Cold War was, taking the basis of Black Ops and Modern Warfare, but not necessarily being called 3. But that kind of stuff internally changes all the time, and until it's announced, nothing's set in stone. So it's still very possible that this might actually not be the name, but it seems like we're getting more and more closer to when a reveal will be happening, so it's starting to be solidified a little bit more. But being developed by Sledgehammer, that was a reiteration, not necessarily new. He stated there's a reveal set for August with a launch set for November 10th tentatively. Again, until we see that officially confirmed, take that date with a grain of salt. Don't take it necessarily as gospel. But we've also seen other dates from Tom thrown out that is definitely worth reiterating and definitely worth noting with Beta Weekend 1 being on October 6th to October 10th for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Beta Weekend 2 for all platforms being October 12th to October 16th. A campaign early access period starting on November 2nd and then that full release on November 10th. Now, he also then, adding to the report in terms of new information, stated that we'd see a new Warzone map during Season 1 of Support, launching in December, specifically a target date for December 5th as that moving and working target. Now, this was something he specifically mentioned was Las Almas as the new map for Warzone, which would make a ton of sense. We've talked about that before here on the channel, where that map, the TAC map at least, already exists in the game from the campaign. That was found in the campaign mission El Cine Nombre, and if you were to take a look at that, you could easily right now map up ground war and 6v6 maps already in the game that their tack maps fit perfectly on top of that Los Alamos larger world tack map. It just makes too much sense, and it's nice now to see that corroborated with from other insiders who have had very credible track records in the past. So that's something you can expect to see here upcoming later this year. But the big curveball out of this was that seemingly like in just regular conversation, Tom ended up putting for Modern Warfare 3 zombies, several sources have said that the mode is essentially an Outbreak 2.0. It's understood that Activision is currently weighing the possibilities on if this mode mode should be a part of the premium title or not, or if it makes more sense for the mode to be a free-to-play experience. So like, again, out of nowhere, for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? Excuse me? We haven't seen a Zombies mode developed by anybody outside of Treyarch since Sledgehammer did it within World War II. Now, yes, there was Zombies within Vanguard, but Treyarch ended up taking over that. So that's definitely curious to see, and I'd be very interested to see what comes of that. Of course, it could be something that ends up in that premium title, but free-to-play Zombies doesn't sound half bad. And the way that Outbreak kind of went, it almost seemed like all signs kind of pointed to that in the sort of climate and discussion around the development of that. It seemed like that was the next step for what Zombies would be in regards to going above and beyond that just classic round-based experience. And of course, I don't want to get rid of the round-based experience. I think that personally for me, that's where my bread and butter still is. Outbreak is a niche. It's not necessarily mine, but it would be cool to see that being offered as something that is free to play. So we'll have to see how that all works out. But the biggest part to me out of all of this was the discussion that stemmed outside of these reports here, because it was mentioned that developmental control, according to Charlie Intel, would be entirely sledgehammers with next to zero involvement creatively from Infinity Ward outside of the campaign. Now, right now, that's just words. That doesn't have anything that is something that's tangible to go beyond that. Charlie Intel, of course, is somebody that is known for only reporting on the stuff that has come to fruition in the past. Of all the insiders in our sort of Call of Duty sphere, I still hold Charlie Intel at the highest. Love the guy that runs it. Know him personally. And for his sources to end up saying that, 
I'm inclined to at least hear it out and give the notion some thought. And that is something that is, I think, big for what is upcoming for Modern Warfare 3. A lot of what people do not like about this game comes down to the creative direction that Infinity Ward from a top-down level implemented for this game. A lot of people thought that after Modern Warfare 2019, this would just be a, an easy layup for Modern Warfare 2, a killer sequel that would make everybody happy, but that doesn't seem to be the case with the past couple of months, myself included. But if Infinity Ward only ends up having creative control on sort of guiding that narrative on how they want to tell the modern warfare universe their characters their ip that's something that narratively is totally cool great to see but it means that on the gameplay perspective things are subject to change if they don't fit that creative vision that sledgehammer has and we've already seen this as of recently with vanguard they added ninja and dead silence as a field upgrade and perk offering the ability for the player to have acquired of footsteps by default but also keeping that tactical usage of dead silence as something there that is an option for players they added a perk to allow you to see red dots on the minimap and while i wish it would have just been by default that's still something that they implemented that was a change that directly went against the fundamentals that infinity ward set up with my Modern Warfare 2019 and other stuff like that. So those changes and more absolutely can, and I'd imagine likely will be made, assuming that Sledgehammer has creative control of this upcoming project. And to me, that's where I kind of think that that statement that we made in the intro, that this could, and big emphasis on could, be a course correction for this year, that might be something that maybe it just takes a little bit of time, but we finally get that game we were hoping this would be. Maybe that's the hopium talking and me being a little bit too optimistic, like it can't get any worse, right? But I mean, at the same time, that's also possible. I've said it before, I've talked to and know plenty of devs at Infinity Ward, plenty of devs at Treyarch, plenty of devs at Sledgehammer, and from my past experiences, Sledgehammer has absolutely always been the ones that try to go to bat for the players. A lot of what they do ends up getting shut down, and unfortunately, a lot of the games they've made recently have not had the full developmental support, this one likely included. The last game that they had with a full development cycle was Advanced Warfare. That's almost 10 years of making games now at this point, where their vision had been impeded in some way, shape, or form. World War II, it was mentioned that Advanced Warfare 2 was meant to be up on deck, but they wanted to change course because getting away from advanced movement after three years of that. Vanguard was something that they had gotten taken off the project that they were working on with Raven as a what would turn into Black Ops Cold War project, and then they had to go to Vanguard, which if I'm guessing was just something like, here, we already have the base of this, let's create something from it and kind of add an extension, and then now going to Modern Warfare 3, well, they got pulled off of Vanguard pretty quick. I would imagine that's why we also didn't get any post launch content really for Vanguard. So that's about the only thing that I'm like tremendously worried about. But I also think that there is some positive upswing that could happen. But again, big emphasis on could. So that is where we're at here as of yesterday's new reports for Modern Warfare 3. And hearing it said aloud, it's definitely got a nice ring to it. But again, is it tarnished by what we've seen already this year? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we're still a ways off from any reveal if these dates do hold up. So we've got time. So that said, that is what we're going to call it. Just wanted to fill you guys in, let you know what you needed to about this new reporting for Modern Warfare 3, but let me know your thoughts down below. Before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso is 30% off right now for certain items in the month of May. Things like starter kits are on sale. So if you guys want to check out G Fuel for the very first time, you can, and at a discounted cost. Though if you want to restock, you like something in particular, it's not on that exclusive item for May list, Code Espresso gets you 20% off everything else on the entire site all the time. But that said, check it out if you guys are interested. For now, that's what we're going to it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are you guys thinking about this reporting for COD 2023? Do you have some sliver of hope? Has it been destroyed by Infinity Ward? Is it something you're looking forward to? Not so much for the case. Drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it out on insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.